Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R73, size 10. This is the Zug Bug. We need a short length of fine lead wire. So, what I do here is I'll just hold that in position. This is an easier way to do it like that with an easy hackle clip and we'll just go forward like that, remove that push this together and then we'll take our wire scissors and just trim off those ends tighten them up I've got sheer 14 knot black tying thread. We'll just attach this to the front of the lead wire to make a little stopper. And then we'll go over the lead wire and back. And a stopper at the back. Do it. I'll remove that. And I want to go back a wee ways there. Then we need a peacock sword feather. Then we want three of these fibers. So these don't want to be too long. We take the three fibers and we just tuck them in and go back. That's a good. And then we'll just go carefully forward and over the lead wire with the tip ends. And then we go back to just to where the lead wire finishes. And we need a length of fine oval silver tinsel. We'll just go in there and I'll come back. Onto secure this right into the tail base like so and then we can just hang that out the way we go back up here again to the lead wire and we want three long peacock curl and tie these butt ends in over the lead wire take our tying thread forward and then holding all the peacock curl together we go over the lead wire like so and then we come back this will give the body the correct shape and go back to the tail base and then we come back forward again over the peacock curl all the way forward two or three turns over the peacock curl pull it back and we secure it in front and we can come in with our scissors remove the surplus now I wind the peacock curl clockwise now we want to take our rib and go anti-clockwise over the body. This is uh, supposed to imitate, originally it was to imitate a cased caddis but it's a, a generally a very good nymph to use in most situations. It's the peacock hell that is the killer and we just secure that tinsel and we go back to form a nice even surface. And we can take our tinsel wire scissors and just come in, remove that. Go back. I've got a brown, speckled brown uh, hen hackle. We strip all the 
downy fibres off and then what we do is holding the hackle we separate it like this that will do us and then we come in with our scissors and we trim that off there to form a little triangle Secure that hackle starting at the hook eye, work our way back. Like so. Take our hackle plier on there. And then what we do is we fold all those fibres back as you would a traditional wet fly hackle and go around like this swap those around bring up the hackle stem move your hackle plier Secure it, move the surplus, and then we want to go back up. That's good. And then we need a mallard flank, which we can strip off a few of those fibres, place this on top for the wing bud and we pull it through like so it's good and what we can do is we can trim off that and forward work our way back Give it a whip finish. One more. Like a nice shiny head on the zug bug. So we'll remove that. Like so that's good. We we'll take our head cement. Work that varnish in. It's looking good. Uh, we take our scissors and we lift the mallard flank and trim it off. And that's the finished Zuckbug. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.